as if its own internal conflict and poverty weren't enough. Chad has for some years become a place of refuge to many fleeing wars in neighboring countries. Tribal clashes in Cameroon drove Fatima Hassan to this refugee camp in western Chad. We can't go back to our village. We have seen many corpses there. Some of the people were killed in front of our eyes. We can't go back. She isn't alone. There are about 100,000 Cameroonian refugees in Chad. Nearly 10,000 of them are here in the Kalabari camp. But Chad hosts dozens of similar camps with refugees from the Central African Republic, Darfur, Nigeria and elsewhere. And this is a part of a wider phenomenon across Central and Eastern Africa. Ongoing conflicts have created millions of refugees and displaced people in Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi, Eritrea, Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Last year, United Nations estimated the number of refugees and forcibly displaced persons in Africa had reached 36 million. The reason behind these refugees and displaced people is well known, and it is mainly the lack of peace and coexistence. For Africa to go forward and to achieve progress, we must establish peace. Here at the Kalabari, aid agencies are trying to help in different ways, including small agricultural projects where refugees can grow their own food. The camps provide temporary shelter, but they're struggling when it comes to other basic requirements. The refugees know they don't have a long-term future in Chad. For now, they say they feel thankful for the safety they're enjoying and can only hope for peace to prevail in their countries so they can return home. Mohamed Fahd, Al Jazeera.